Hey, welcome back to another episode of the Champ Build Their Podcast, where I want to build more champions and less followers. And I got something special for you today because it's someone who I really respected as a champion and as a leader. And a few weeks ago, he passed away, uh, and that's the four star general uh, Colin Powell. He was the first African American uh, U.S. Secretary of State, which is a very prestigious position. Um, he worked for a multitude of presidents and also held seven or uh, several very high ranking roles uh, inside of our military. I think it was like 28 uh, conflicts uh, he was a part of. And he had his own uh, unique leadership style. Um, he wasn't uh, one that would just um, bow down to leadership or bow down to um, his superiors. Uh, he would challenge them through his principles and through uh, his hard work and through his uh, almost uh, ear to the ground type of strategy. Now, I want to share with you today, uh, the part of the Champ Builder uh, mission is for us to become better leaders. And I think he had some great leadership lessons. Um, he authored two books. He was a renowned speaker. And I just want to share with you some of his lessons. Obviously, we talked about the championship principles. And they, this kind of aligns with uh, what I believe in. So I think it would be great that I could share these lessons with you um, today on this episode of the Champ Builder Podcast. Um, they're just leadership lessons uh, from a true champion um, and, and really American hero. He was a guy that always put American first. And although I don't always agree with his politics, I definitely respect him as a leader. So here we go. Lesson number one. Being responsible sometimes means pissing people off. The decision that you make as a leader may not always be the popular decision. But guess what? You have to make that decision anyway. See, as a leader, you're not trying to win a popularity contest. As a leader, you're trying to do what's best for the actual team. Number two, the day soldiers stop bringing up their problems to you is the day they lost confidence in you to help them and they figure out you don't care and you failed as a leadership. So you want to make sure that you have your ear to the ground and make sure you're always listening and make sure that you're actually doing something about what's going on inside your organization, inside of your team, inside of your family, whatever it is that you're running, you want to make sure that people feel comfortable with bringing their problems to you because you're actually going to do something about it. Lesson number three, don't be buffaloed by experts and elite. The battles are won out there in the trenches. So don't get so caught up with this perfect ideal vision of what should happen and really go with what actually is happening out there on the battlefield. Lesson number four, don't be afraid to challenge the pros even in their own backyard, right? And this is something that he did, obviously, as a four-star general, uh, working for uh, President Bush and others. Um, there are situations when everyone didn't agree, and he challenged their positions on where we should uh, uh, evade and another type of very critical decisions that were being made at the very top. Number five, never neglect the details. The details matter. They just do. The details matter. So. You have to be very conscious of the details and very intentional about what you do with that information. Lesson number six, you don't know what you can get away with until you try. Lesson number seven, keep looking below surface appearances. Don't shrink from doing so just because you might not like what you found. And so often, you know, we don't want to look at that answer because you know why? Because it's dressed in overalls and it looks like hard work. But if you want to... Uh, accomplish a goal, if you want to accomplish a dream, if you want to live the best life possible, you have to work for it. Number, lesson number eight, organization doesn't really accomplish a thing. Find people that are capable, share your vision with them, and get out of their way and let them do what they do. Number nine, organizational charts of fancy titles count for next to nothing. What are you accountable for inside of your organization? And those roles and responsibilities should be listed out so everyone knows exactly who's responsible for what so that you can go to that person in case you have a question in that area. Lesson number 10, never let your ego get so close to your position that when your position goes, your ego goes with it. Be very careful attaching your ego to a job, a relationship, right? Uh, uh, your bank account, Anything that could be fleeting, because if those leave, if those vacate, then what are you left with? 
So, so many people go through these midlife crises and so many people go through these depressions because they are attached to identity to something that left. Your, your identity should be attached to yourself and your ego should be intact. And if you maintain um, humbleness, if you maintain a level of, of level-headedness, then no matter what comes your way, you're going to be able to overcome it and achieve anything after it.